Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. So I was watching this NAB Rewind video and this is Russ Gautier. And the video is really, really incredible, so I definitely want you to check it out. Um, but in the middle of it, he talks about a object buffer script that he wrote, a little Python script. And I really wanted to share it with you because it's an incredible resource. So along with this video, which I will link up, is a files download. So go ahead and click on files, and it's going to download a Cinema 4D file with a Python script in it. So if you open that up, this is what you're going to get, a little Python thing that says, make me some buffers. All right, so I'm just gonna go over this really quick. Um, if we add a bunch of things to our scene, a bunch of items. All right, so I have a ton of things in my scene now. If you've ever dealt with object buffers, you know that they're a little bit tedious. You have to right click, go to Cinema 4D tags, add a compositing tag, gotta go to object buffer and check it on. And then you also have to go into your settings. You have to go to your save settings, make sure you have multi-pass set on. You have to go to multi-pass, and then you have to go to object buffer and make sure it's group ID is matching. And then you have to do it all over for all of these items. So it's a huge pain in the neck. Um, and this little script is gonna make it very quick. So check this out. All you have to do is highlight all the objects in your scene. So we're gonna highlight these. And then all you have to do is click this little red X to run the script, click it, and bam, instantly we have compositing tags on all of our objects. Now, if you look at these, we have sequential numbers. So every one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can change these, but it's gonna set them up with an object buffer on every object. And the really cool thing is if we go to our settings, it's also set up a object buffer in all of the render settings. So, and it's also um, renamed all the buffers to the name of that object. So in just one click, it's going to save you a ton of time on using object buffers. Now here's a little quick tip I have. If you wanna save something, you could probably save this in your scripts, but I like using my content browser, so I use this all the time. So here's a way that we can access this script later on really quickly. So I'm just gonna to go to my content browser, I'm gonna to go to new preset library, and I'm gonna call this buffer. Hit OK, and it's gonna make a new folder. Let's just drag that Python script into here, and now we have this saved for later. So then, if at any point we are you know, playing around in our content browser and we wanna use this buffer script, all you have to do is search, just type in buffer, hit enter, and you're gonna find that folder as well as the script. So it's a really nice way to organize everything and be able to access them later on. Great way to bring back this script and be able to use it in your project. So it's a really, really helpful little script to save you a bunch of time. Huge thanks to Russ Gautier. Make sure to check out his presentation. Also, thank you to Cineversity and Maxon as always. And thank you guys for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.